One of the most common questions I get from patients is this. Dr. Blake, how can I increase my semen volume? It's a fair question, and a fascinating one, because the answer actually tells us a lot about how the male body works, what's normal, and what can be improved naturally. I'm Dr. Emma Blake, urologist and men's health specialist, and today, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about semen. We'll cover how your body makes it, what happens when you ejaculate, why semen volume sometimes decreases, whether your partner really notices, and four evidence-based ways to increase your semen volume naturally. Let's begin. So what exactly is semen? We tend to think of semen as sperm, but sperm is only one tiny piece of the puzzle. Sperm is made in the testes, but it makes up just 5% of your semen volume. Yes, just 5%. The rest? It comes from several key glands that all contribute different ingredients to create that final fluid. The prostate contributes about 20 to 30%. Its secretions help protect and mobilize the sperm. Think of it as the nutrient bath that keeps sperm energized and moving. The seminal vesicles, which are small pouch-like structures behind your prostate, contribute the largest portion, 60 to 70%. This is where most of the fluid volume comes from. And finally, the bulbarethral glands, also called Cowper's glands, produce a very small amount of pre-ejaculate right before climax. Their job is to lubricate and neutralize the urethra before semen passes through. Now, you might be wondering, why do some men ejaculate forcefully, while others seem to just dribble? That's all thanks to the bulbocavernosus muscle, a key pelvic floor muscle that wraps around the urethra. During orgasm, this muscle contracts rhythmically to push semen out. If the muscle is weak, the ejaculation may seem less forceful. If it's strong, the expulsion is more powerful. In other words, Volume and force aren't just about how much you've made. They're about how efficiently your body can release it. But here's a common worry. Does weak ejaculation affect your partner's experience? Even day to day, your semen volume can fluctuate. Things like stress, dehydration, poor sleep, or medications can all play a role. But if you've noticed a sudden and persistent drop in semen volume, that could be a red flag it might indicate an obstruction in the ejaculatory duct, the channel that transports semen from the seminal vesicles to the urethra. Or it could be a sign of low testosterone, especially if accompanied by fatigue, low libido, or mood changes. Another possibility? Certain medications, especially tamsulosin, also known as Flomax, which is commonly prescribed for enlarged prostates, can cause something called retrograde ejaculation. That's when semen travels backward into the bladder instead of forward out of the penis. It's harmless, but can be surprising if you're not expecting it. Retrograde ejaculation can also be caused by diabetes, spinal cord injuries, or neurological diseases. So if your semen volume changes suddenly and doesn't go back to normal, it's a good idea to see a urologist for a full workup. Now let's get to the good part. How to increase your semen volume naturally. There are four strategies I recommend, based on the science. The first three may help slightly. The fourth one, it's the most proven. Tip number one, quit smoking. You already know smoking damages your lungs, but it also harms your reproductive system. Smoking is linked to reduced sperm count, erectile dysfunction, and lower semen volume. Why? Because smoking damages the tiny nerves and blood vessels that support your reproductive organs. It also reduces the production of fluids that make up semen. If you needed one more reason to quit, this is it. Tip number two, stay well hydrated. Semen is mostly water, so if you're dehydrated, your body has less raw material to work with. Aim for light yellow urine, not clear, not dark, as a general hydration target. Staying consistently hydrated will support all your bodily secretions, not just semen, but saliva, tears, and even digestive enzymes. Tip number three, strengthen your pelvic floor, 
Kegel exercises, yes, they're not just for women, can improve the strength of your pelvic floor muscles, including the bulbocavernosus muscle we talked about earlier. That doesn't mean you'll produce more semen, but you may expel it more fully and forcefully. That can help you feel more satisfied and prevent semen from being left behind in the urethra. Just remember, Kegels aren't for everyone. If you have chronic pelvic pain, urinary problems, or erectile dysfunction, talk to a specialist before beginning pelvic floor training. Tip four, ejaculate less frequently. This is the most effective way to increase your semen volume. In one study, researchers followed 27 men for 16 months. They collected semen samples regularly and tracked how long the men had abstained before each sample. They found that for each additional day of abstinence, semen volume increased by about 10%. After four days, the increase slowed to about seven to 8% per day. But even then, the effect was clear. Longer intervals between ejaculation allow your body to fully replenish. So if your goal is a stronger, more voluminous ejaculation, wait two to four days between sessions. Let the tank refill. In 2018, researchers asked 240 women how they felt about their partner's ejaculate, the volume, the force, and whether it influenced their sexual satisfaction. The results? Most women said they didn't care how much fluid was released. Only 17% said they experienced stronger orgasms when their partner's ejaculation felt strong. And only 13% linked weak ejaculation to their own feelings of attractiveness. So if you're concerned that your partner is secretly judging your semen volume, take a breath. In most relationships, connection and mutual pleasure matter far more than fluid dynamics. That said, let's talk about why semen volume might decrease, especially as you age. In general, men in their 30s tend to produce the most semen. After that, it gradually declines. This is due to several factors, aging pelvic muscles, diet and hydration, smoking and lifestyle choices, hormonal shifts, certain medications and medical conditions. Now, let's talk about supplements. You've probably seen plenty of pills promising to dramatically increase semen volume overnight. But here's the truth. There are currently no FDA approved supplements that guarantee a significant boost in volume. That said, some natural compounds can support your overall reproductive and prostate health, which plays an important role in semen production over time. Ingredients like zinc, selenium, magnesium, and potassium are essential for healthy ejaculate fluid hormone balance, and muscle function. And herbal extracts like saw palmetto, pygium, raspberry, and green tea offer antioxidant and anti-inflammatory support for the prostate, the gland responsible for much of your semen volume. That's why I recommend a high-quality prostate health formula that contains these evidence-based ingredients. It won't work overnight, but with consistent use, it can support the glands and systems involved in semen production especially when combined with good hydration, pelvic muscle strength, and smart lifestyle choices. You'll find my recommended formula, a gentle natural blend, linked in the pinned comment. It's a great addition if you're looking to support your body from the inside out. And remember, your health is worth investing in.